आई एम डी एच पटेल वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट डेरी टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट एस एम सी कॉलेज ऑफ डेरी साइंस आनंद आई एम द कंटेंट राइटर ऑफ पेपर नंबर थर्टीन फूड एडिटिव इन दैट मॉड्यूल इलेवन द इमल्सिफायर फॉर द फूड इंडस्ट्रीज वी ऑल नो द इमल्सिफायर द इमल्सिफायर कैन बी यूज टू मेक अ स्टेबल इमल्जन इन बिटवीन अ इविजिबल liquids like fat or we can say oil and water in this module we are going to discuss the different applications of emulsifiers in different food systems now coming to the introduction emulsifiers are additives that allow normally a immiscible liquids such as oil and a water to form a stable mixture the emulsifiers contain both hydrophilic and lipophilic parts the hydrophilic head is easily hydrate that is a water soluble and the lipophilic tail is impossible or a very difficult to hydrate so it's a oil soluble the emulsifier concentrate at the interface between oil and a water and reduce the surface tension or interfacial tension thereby making the emulsion more stable in many industries emulsifiers are referred to as surfactants also which is an abbreviation of surface active agents in commercial food emulsifiers the hydrophilic part can consist of glycerol sorbitol sucrose propylene glycol or a polygrisflor the lipophilic part is formed by fatty acid derived from fats and oils such as soya bean oil rape seed oil coconut oil and palm kernel oils the hlb concept as we know the hlb stands for hydrophilic lipophilic balance the emulsifier can be characterized by the hydrophilic lipophilic balance the balance is measured on a molecular weight and is an indication of solubility of the emulsifier The HLB scales varies between zero to twenty. The emulsifier with a low HLB value is a more soluble in oil and promotes a water in oil emulsions. An emulsifier with a high HLB value is a more soluble in a water and that promotes the oil in a water emulsions. Now in this table, we are looking into the different emulsifiers used. in the food processing industry generally emulsifiers are have their own e number which is labeled on the package certain emulsifiers like lecithins are very popular a polysorbates that is also known as a polyoxyethylene sorbitan esters the mdg it is also known as a mono and diglycerides of fatty acids certain esters of mdg is also available like acetic lactic citric they are generally known as a acetam stands for acetic acid esters of mdg the lactam the lactic acid esters of mdg the citram is a citric acid esters of mdg the datam it's a mono and diacetyl tartaric acid esters of mdg the sucrose esters they are the sucrose esters of fatty acids the polyglycerol esters they are the polyglycerol esters of fatty acids pgpr it is stands for polyglycerol polyresinoleate the propylene glycol esters it's generally known as a propane 1 to diol esters of fatty acids the ssl that is stands for sodium steroid to lactylate the csl that is calcium steroid to lactylate above this the sorbitan fatty acid esters are also exists now coming to the functions of emulsifiers the main function is formation of emulsion that 
reduce the surface interfacial tension at the surface or interface which promotes the mixing of two invisible liquids. The another function is stabilization of emulsion in that formation of phase equilibrium between water emulsifier, oil at the interface which stabilize the emulsion. The another function is modification of textural and rheological properties of food by the interaction with the starch and the protein component in the foods. The modification of crystallization of fats and oils and other functions of emulsifiers includes the aeration, agglomeration, anti splattering, coating, creaming, crumb softening, dough strengthening, extrusionide, fat distribution, fat sparing, foam stabilizing, foam stiffing, increase the heat stability, moisture retention, plasticity, decrease the stickiness, release or viscosity increased or decreased. Now coming to the emulsifier selection. The several parameters should be considered during the emulsifier selection and these parameters includes the approval of emulsifier by appropriate government agencies. Also it must possess some desirable functional properties. We are also interested to the end product application. The selection is also depends on the processing parameters. Then also it has a some synergistic effect with the other ingredients and of course the cost that will decide the selection of emulsifier. Desirable characteristics of food emulsifiers. The emulsifier has an ability to reduce the surface or interfacial tension. It must have an ability to readily absorb at the interface. The processing, the proper balance at hydrophilic and lipolytic parts so that desirable type of emulsion that could be a oil in water or a water in oil can be stabilized. The emulsifier has an ability to impact a large electrokinetic potential to disperse the phase. It has an ability to function effectively at low concentration. It must be a resistance to chemical changes. The emulsifier should be lack of order or a color and of course it is a safe or we can say it is a non-toxic. Now let us discuss some application of emulsifiers. Generally emulsifiers can be used mainly in a bakery industry, some confectionaries, dairy products, meat processing as well as certain fats and oil. Let us discuss one by one. First of all bakery industry. In this table certain emulsifiers used in a specific application with their benefit has been shown here. Emulsifier like MDG is applicable to cake and bread that will react with the starch to delay retrogradation resulting in a improved softness of the crumb and extend the shelf life. Now in a bread making when we use a datem as well as the lecithin that will strengthen the gluten and that results in improved dough stability and improved gas retention. The final product shows a higher volume and a good crumb structure. The emulsifiers like CSL and SSL when used in a cake and a bread that provides a starch as well as the gluten interaction. In a cake manufacturing when we use a lactam, acetam, polygrisol esters, polypropylene glycol esters and a sucrose esters that facilitate the whipping of a batter and enhance volume as well as the texture. The final choice of an emulsifier that will depend on the type of the cake and the preparation methods. Now some aeration and whipping concentrate when we applicable in a cake, the powder or a paste with a emulsifier combinations on a carrier of dairy or a vegetable protein 
and a carbohydrate. The emulsifier within the concentrate are the functional state so can be used in all methods of cake preparation. When we use a lactam, acetam, rhodiglycerol esters, polypropylene glycols and sucrose esters in a fillings like application, a no fat or a low fat and a fat fillings, aerated or non aerated fillings used emulsifier to achieve the right texture and a stability that will depending on the types of filling and the required functionality the optimal emulsifier needs to be selected when you use a sucrose esters in icing fondants and fillings the controlled sugar crystallization result in a small sugar crystals with a long shelf life and a white appearance in a confectionaries when you use a sucrose esters as a emulsifier in a soft candy and a chewy candy that will control sugar crystallization result in a small sugar crystals with a long shelf life and improved texture in a chocolate manufacturing when we use lecithin and a pgpr the viscosity reduction and a control in the chocolate and reduction of the fat bloom the combination of PGPR and lecithin makes a cocoa butter reduction possible which maintaining optimal viscosity and fluidity. In applications like a chewing gum when we use a lecithin and acetam that will soften the gum base and improve the chewability as well as the its anti sticking property. Now emulsifier has its own role in a certain dairy products also that we know very well specifically in ice cream when mdg is used in ice cream in a multi-phase system it will act on a each interface providing a stabilization improve extrusion improve heat shock and it will also control the overrun the MDG is a main used emulsifier in ice cream. The MDG is often combined with other emulsifiers and used in other whipped products also. Now, when we use a lactam, acetam, polygrisol esters, polypropylene glycerols, and a sucrose esters in a whipped topping and a cream, it will help in the emulsification stabilization as well as it will control the overrun and a volume and that will influence the texture of the finished product. In a whipped dairy deserts when we apply a lactam, acetam, polygrisol esters, polypropylene glycol esters and a sucrose esters it will stabilize the emulsion also control the overrun and a volume ultimately it will improve the texture and a mouthfeel of the product the lactam is preferred in a ready to eat desserts and acetam is preferred in a instant products certain aerated dairy products in that aeration or whipping concentrates can be used the powder consists of emulsifier combination of vegetable oil and a protein or a carbohydrate carrier the emulsifier within the concentrate are in the functional state so will be fully effective in any preparation methods in application like a coffee whitener we can use mdg sorbetian esters polysorbates sucrose esters the benefit include a different emulsifiers are used to stabilize the emulsion and prevent oil out the sucrose ester protect a protein in acid products such as a coffee thus a prevent the feathering of coffee whitener and a creamers as we all know the feathering is a common defect with the coffee whiteners in a ust product sucrose esters can be applied and a sucrose esters interact with a dairy protein resulting in a less sensitive for a heat and a prevention of a fouling of a UST equipments. Next is the fats and oils. 
in a product like margarine and a spreads damdg can be applied and that will helps in emulsification and crystal modification in all types of margarine and spreads in general mdg is the main emulsifier used and will be combined with the other emulsifiers for additional functionalities in a cooking margarine the citra it will act as a anti spattering in a cooking margarines the pgpr emulsifier can be used in a reduced fat margarine and spreads that will support the emulsification especially in a low fat and a very low fat spreads the polygrisol esters in a industrial margarine that will improve the plasticity in a industrial margarine and helps to create a dry surface in a puff pastry margarine the combination of polygrisol esters with a pgpr that provide aeration by control of crystallization in industrial margarine for cake preparation also in a meat processing the citrem emulsifier can be used in a emulsified meat products the emulsification in a emulsified sausages and pastes resulting in a better fat distribution and a reduced fat separation the acetam can be used in a meat casing the film forming property which can be applied in a meat casing through this acetam emulsifier now in other applications like release or a demolding agents the acetam lecithin and pgpr can be used that release agent in a demolding agent and a lubricant for food processing equipments the lecithin can be applied for a dry product dry powders it is an excellent wetting agent to improve a dispersibility of the powders for a beverage like applications the polysorbate can be used that will stabilization of flavor emulsions the several emulsifiers can be also used in extruded products in that lubrication in extruded starch based products such as a pasta and noodles can be seen the sucrose esters can be used in a canned coffee the benefit include antimicrobial properties preventing a spore developed in a canned coffee drinks so food emulsifier have a versatile application in food industry the emulsifiers also exert a several technical effects and can be useful tool to address a new product trend some trends that may impact on a demands for a new and a modified emulsifier compositions and applications so by this module we come to know that emulsifier has a versatile application in a food system so with the use of different emulsifiers we can develop a certain new products that will helps the food industry thank you